Well, let's talk about our forecast right now. Uh, Molly McCullum, of course, is tracking Hurricane Dorian and its impact on us, Molly. We might see some minor impacts as we head towards the second half of the holiday weekend, but there right now is a high uncertainty of exactly where Dorian is going to end up and just how strong it's going to be. Here's what we're thinking as we move into the holiday weekend is that we will see this make landfall somewhere along the eastern coast, anywhere from the Florida Atlantic coast all the way up into the Georgia coast still in play at this moment, but right now it's trending more towards the Florida direction, but the exact path still uncertain and the biggest impacts will be in Florida for Monday as well as potentially South Georgia with the rainfall moving in. We will see our rain chances increase ever so slightly by Sunday and continuing into Monday. Right now it does not like a washout for the holiday weekend with the higher rain impacts moving in for Tuesday and Wednesday of the upcoming week. Right now it's 70 degrees in Atlanta, 68 in Covington, 68 in Eatonton, 59 though in LJ. That's that drier air that's continuing to settle in this afternoon. We'll see mid to upper 80s for a lot of us. Not a lot of 90s this afternoon. 89 in Atlanta, 88 for you in LaGrange, 85 in LJ and 89 in Eatonton. Here's what the holiday weekend is looking like. The rain chances slowly go up Sunday into Monday. The cloud cover starts to build in. Of course, where Dorian goes after that, if it moves back into the Gulf and then curves back around into Georgia, our rain chances will go up. But of course, we're watching that very closely. For now, we are staying very dry, very quiet and very sunny, and that's the way it's going to stay for the first part of the holiday weekend.